Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm reading a book right now by Carl Jung called Aspects of the Masculine. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. I'm not done with the book, so I don't, haven't learned all the knowledge it has to teach and I can't preach, you know, its lessons. I'm no expert on Jung, but I do have an interest in uh, a lot of the stuff that he has talked about over the years. I got inspired to research Jung, I think, from... Jordan Peterson, and Jordan Peterson talks about him a lot. Masculinity seems like it's an important topic these days. I had the book already on my shelf, so I just figured, hey, you know, why not read this? I have lots of books on my shelf I've never even read. I don't even have to go on Amazon or go to the bookstore. I just go into my fucking office and I'll be like, oh, where did I get this? Let's read it. He talks about in the book different developmental stages, and I'm in the beginning of the book, but he talks about different developmental stages of a child growing into a man. And every few years, there's maturity stages throughout our whole lives. Even once we've reached manhood, we still go through maturity stages all the way into our 90s or whenever we die. But there's that transition, that point. You're a child at one point. And then you're a man at one point, and there's that transition from child to man. That transition from child to man may happen for some people when they're 20. It may happen for some people when, when they're 40. It may never happen for some people. But what Jung talks about is what causes that final transformation from child to man from the, the, the caterpillar to the butterfly you know when you're finally transformed is when your father dies now he talks about separation from parents both mother and father but for boys particularly separating from the father is key that separation from your father is when you finally can walk the path of life in your own individual way, without the reassurance of somebody else, without holding somebody else's hand, even if it's just symbolically. We can remain childlike in certain aspects of our uh, persona, of, our, of who we are. So we can be held back in certain ways because of the relationship, the current relationship that we may have with our parents. And I know that in, in the book, Jung talks about death because with death, there, there's, no, there's no bargaining. There's no way to cheat. The motherfucker's gone. So your, your father's dead. Your father's gone. My father's dead. And I can't make that call and say, yo, dad, How's it going? I just needed to get some, you know, uh, encouragement or to talk to you. I need some advice. I, I don't have that. So uh, at, at, at age 20, when my father was murdered, I had to uh, learn certain things that he would give me, nurturing and attention and validation and these types of things, to find that either from other sources or to give it to myself. And that was a maturing process. It matured me more so than some of my friends who you know, had fathers available. It doesn't make me better. It just makes it so I was a little bit more emotionally intelligent and emotionally resilient, a little bit more emotionally, uh, what do you call it, I guess? Uh, just more on my own and able to be more confident in myself without external validation, could go through problems without having to call my parents. It's when, according to Jung, when your father dies, now all we're just talking about is the separation that you have, the emotional attachments that you have as a little boy to have that leader, to have that guide. 
and we, we, we idolize our parents, many of us do, and put them in a role of smarter than us, wiser than us, and it, you have to finally become equal to them. This is according to Jung. To be friends with them and not to be their, their child, but to be their equal, to be their friend. And that takes a certain level of maturity. It's not just that you have your own money. You could be, a, I had plenty more money than my dad. When my dad died, I, I, I was loaded. My dad was broke. My dad died with $12 in his pocket. That's all he had when the, and he didn't have any bank account. But that doesn't mean you're a man. It's that emotional maturity which makes you a man. And when you feel that, you're able to make that separation easier. And when you see your parents, when you hang out with your father, for example, you feel more like his equal. You've taken him off of the pedestal. He did his job. He did it well. You can always respect him. Always love him. But you don't love him like a little boy anymore. You love him like a man. And that's something that has to be realized. You can't be taught. You can't just have some birthday like when you're 18. A lot of people are forced into being adults when they're 18. They're not ready, especially nowadays. I was very ready. By the time I was 18, I felt like I was 30. <laughs> of course, looking back on it, you know, I know that I was pretty immature. Even when I was in my mid-20s, I thought I was such a man when I was in my mid-20s. I look back on it now that I'm 50 and just laugh. But we have these growth stages all throughout our lives. And that transformation to manhood is probably the most important. Wherever it happens, it, it, it's not, there's no race to manhood. You just want to make sure that it happens. <laughs> and that's when your life truly begins. That's your starting point. That's when you're free. That's when you get to experience the world in a different way. I'm no expert on Jung. I can't teach a class on it. I just thought I would make this video about it and start a dialogue and maybe somebody else who is much smarter than me on the topic can comment. But I'm reading this book, Aspects of the Masculine, and I suggest it to people out there. And it's, you know, it's by Carl Jung and, uh, when I got to this point this morning, and they're talking about this exact topic about becoming a man after and separating yourself from your father, I had to put the book down. I was just like, wait a minute. I gotta think about this shit. Where can I get busy on this? Am I still having attachments? My dad's dead, but my mom's still alive. Am I still emotionally attached to her? Do I need to go through a process of cutting those cords in order to fully be an adult? I'm 50 years old. I don't want to remain a child my whole life. Is this something I need to think about? So this is just conscientious, being humble, just looking within. You got to look within. I'll end the video here on this quote. This is an old famous 6,000-year-old Buddhist quote. If you don't go within, you go without. So if you don't go within and fix yourself, strengthen yourself, you go without love. You go without strength. You go without happiness. You go without. Thanks for watching.